Hello YouTube, it's your boy T, and if you new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like my video, share my video with a lot of people that you can, and we go ahead and watch this video. I'm a little sick right now, so I got the sniffles. Got a little cold. Oh, this is a Hispanic song, huh? I don't know who that dude is. It's Capo or something. Okay. I don't think this is Spanish. This is something else. French. Yeah, it's French. I can tell by the accent too that this is from somebody over in Europe because it sounds it's somebody in Europe. But it's one of those countries. It sounds a little bit like French, but I can tell by the accent that it's nobody from the Americans. I can tell by the accent. Uh, Y'all hit the. I don't know what he's saying. Y'all click the link in the description. You gotta think, man. Um, hip hop is really big over there in Europe and if y'all don't know hip-hop is really big over there so you know certain things like we might sit up there and bash 6 9 on what he does and you know some songs that we probably don't like you go over Europe they like every song that comes out that's on hip-hop as long as it sounds good they like almost everything they Migos drop you know what I'm saying like it just like it's multi-culture so like you go over there and you listen to their hip hop, their hip hop is totally different from our hip hop. But when they hear our hip hop, they actually like almost everything that we probably hate on. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. Like, we like everything they probably hate on. They probably don't like certain hip hop that's over there, but we like it. You get what I'm saying? So, it just depends. Because I think the only reason why we like it because the accent is different from ours. So, it's, it's just because it's different, that's why it sounds good. Nowadays, people go off with like, just because it's different, it sounds good. And then some people, they go off like, since it don't sound like this way I want it, then it's not my type of song. It don't have to be like that. This is a good song, but I won't listen to it again. It's not like, it's like a club banger or whatever. I'm not really like, you know, impressed because I think this song could have been better because it's five minutes and I'm not going to waste five minutes of y'all times or my time listening to something that I don't understand. I don't understand their language, you know. It's a good song, don't get it twisted, but I don't understand what they're talking about. He's probably talking about putting something, a bullet in somebody's head or whatever he's talking about. Oh, 
Now he just talking about international gangsters or whatever the case may be. Um, they just all about their money. They probably got bread. They probably making noise over there in Europe. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, man. Six nine. I don't know if these people are just asking you for a feature just to get their name known. But I don't know who these people are. They're not bad rappers because I don't know what they're saying. So I can't say they bad rappers. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, they, they good. They all right. I mean, I don't know what they're talking about, but they good. You know, where the subtitles at? Where the subtitles at, man? Because this is crazy. Well, I ain't got no subtitles. Well, hit that like button, subscribe. The link is in the description. Y'all can watch the video by y'all Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. I see what he doing. He making this his whole feature in multi-culture and he gonna be he basically doing stuff that Ludacris did if you think about it Ludacris and uh Lil John did like they was just all over the place featuring here featuring there like he's gonna get his name across like if you didn't know I guarantee even if he fall off or if he stop making music you know people gonna remember who 6ix9ine is they're gonna remember him just be 100. Like, he, he ain't gonna be unknown. Like, they might not go to his shows as much, but people's gonna remember who he is. Because he, he did stuff that usually a lot of rappers don't do. He do a lot of trolling. Like, his songs don't have to be that good. It's just that he makes a presence. It's all about making a presence. That's all it is in the rap game. If you can make a presence, you can be the worst rapper. You can say two words in a song. If you can make a presence in everybody's song, then you are already known. Just like uh, Ludacris. Ludacris, like, he ain't a bad rapper, nothing like that. He just stopped making songs, but everybody know who Ludacris is. He made a present. He made himself present in everybody's song. He featured on everybody's song. Just like Lil John. If you don't know who Lil John is, it's because you he ain't, he ain't hear his voice yet. Go, go back to, like, the old 2010 games, sport games and stuff, like racing games and stuff. You hear Lil John in it. You know, go from there and, 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 and so on. Or you can go from 2015. I think they had some little snippet of him in one of the 2K songs or whatever the case may be, you know. But, um, yeah, he's just making a presence. He don't have to continue rapping. People are going to know who he is. You know, the only reason why those other rappers are known is because they made so many songs and they songs, like, everybody liked them. But these people, they're not even, like, trying as hard as those other rappers and they just making a present. I mean, making themselves, like, known for everybody to know that they are there or... They in this game. They in this thing. 6 9 is doing more stuff. Like, when he blew up, he doing more things than I've seen from a lot of rappers that just came out. You know, I give him credit as due. 6 9 is doing big things. He he playing smart with his his career. He want this to be a career. He's doing it the right way. Everybody else, they want to, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff. I know they got stuff happening at home, but they getting in trouble, getting locked up. He ain't doing nothing like that. He ain't trying to force himself to get... Like, if he got locked up for that one little incident, and that's what everybody brings up, that's the only thing he got locked up for so, so much, so far I know. You know. But he's doing he's doing big things right now. I gotta say, he's playing it smart. Something that Chief Key could've did, because right now a lot of people don't listen to Chief Key unless you actually was a fan of him. When the last time people heard about Chief Key? Like, the only people that know about Chief Key is probably like, you know, people that's in the hoods or the slums or on the east side and stuff like that. I don't hear Chief Key's songs played as much over there on the west side as much. You know, it's mostly like the people that just mainstream like YBN and Amir and all that. They making a presence too because they got like a big group. They got different type of flows and different type of swagger on, they, on the track. And the way how they speak and stuff and how they pronounce words, they make the track better. They make their group better because it's different. You don't have to worry about hearing that one sound. You got different type of sounds you can listen to. And that's why people like Kendrick Lamar, people like Eminem, people like J. Cole, Lil Wayne, people like that. Now, don't get it twisted. Ludacris is in that group, too. He's pretty good. He made a presence. Like I said, he's in the top five. I got to put Ludacris in now. Nas. But Nas, I, nobody know, don't even know who Nas is unless you was born in the 90s. After the 90s, you don't know who Nas is. Because a lot, a lot of y'all, that part wasn't brought up. On Nas or hearing his name, I wasn't brought up on it, but <clears throat> a lot of y'all probably wasn't like hearing the name like when y'all was a baby or when y'all was younger. Y'all probably never heard of Nas or anything like that. Y'all probably heard of his name brought up, but I know a lot of y'all probably and never went back to go listen to those songs. Unless y'all talking about Tupac, everybody knows Tupac because he 
you know, died at 96. So, like, his name is always getting brought up in a rap game, period. It's going to always stay there forever because he passed away or whatever. Just like XX Tension, except Tupac's a little bit more inspirational because he was an activist or whatever. He stayed, he stand for what he believed in. He ain't let no man tell him nothing different. Whatever he believed in, that's what he believed in. He ain't let no man convince him to change for nobody. He was no sellout. That's why a lot of people like him because he never sell out for nobody. He'll never do that. So, yeah. That's one thing I got to say, y'all, man. Um, 6 9 he's doing a big thing. I mean, this song ain't all of that, but, you know, he he, he bringing a, a, a present that people actually enjoy, but some people hate. You know what I'm saying? And the more hate he get, the more people are going to talk about him. The more he's basically going to be known. The most hated rapper alive. He ain't the most hated rapper. There's probably some other rappers that was the most hated, too back in the day but to me he's like the most hated rapper that i know shit where well, he be talking about his songs hey go check out my twitch stream saturday nights sunday nights saturday whatever just go ahead and check out my twitch and go follow me hello youtube hey go check out my twitch stream saturday nights 